Hello, scholars. Welcome back to Reading, Distance Learning Style with me, Miss Crawford and Momo. <laughs> today is Friday, May 8th, 2020. And today we're gonna check out What I Like Most by Mary Murphy and illustrated by Zhu Cheng Lin. I chose this book because the main character, the little girl in the book, is describing her favorite parts of a day, the things that she likes most. I thought that would be super helpful, maybe a little inspirational for us when we're describing our favorite parts of a book. Let's listen to see how she describes her favorite parts of a day. Are you ready, my friends? What I Like Most by Mary Murphy, illustrated by Zhu Cheng Lin. Ooh, what a beautiful tree. And check out the little birds sitting up there. I think this must be a cherry blossom tree. Those are trees with little pink flowers that bloom in the springtime. What I like most, Mary Murphy, oh, by Mary Murphy, illustrated by Zhu Cheng Lin. What I like most in the world is my window. This morning, through my window, I see the mailman at the red gate. Oh, right here. I see a blackbird in my tree. Oh, let's see. I see a tree right here. Oh, and there's the blackbird. When I breathe on the glass, I can make drawings that quickly disappear. My window won't change but the things outside will. Some people will leave the street. Some new people will come. The trees will grow and so will the children, including me. Here at my window, I can imagine it all. This window is what I like most in the world. What is one reason she really likes her window? except for apricot jam. My grandmother makes it in a huge copper pot and her house smells of apricots for hours. She gives everyone a jar. When our jar is nearly empty, I put only a tiny bit on my toast to make the jam last. Apricot jam is what I like most in the world. Wow. She added so much detail when she was talking about the apricot jam. I can almost taste it. She talked about the copper pot that it was made in. She talked about how it smelled. She could smell it in the house and how special it was to her. I could really tell it was super duper special. Oh, except for these shoes. They have lights that flash to show where I'm going. I can walk and run and jump in them. My feet do a tiny bounce with every step. One day the shoes will wear out or my feet will grow too big for them. Right now, they're what I like most in the world. Ooh, for this page, I want you to close your eyes. I want you to listen to my words and try and picture what I am reading to you. Then I'll show you the illustration. Ready? Keep your eyes closed. Except for the river. Ooh. Trees grow all along the river. Fish and ducks live in it and once I saw an otter. Today the river is shiny as a mirror. We sit on the big rock that is like an island. Oh, you can open your eyes now. Could you picture what she was talking about? She was super clear with her details. 
she was talking about the animals in it, the ducks and the fish, and even the otter. And then she said there's a big rock right in the middle, like an island that we are on. Did you picture a bunch of friends? In winter, the river is huge and races along. In summer, it is shallow and we can splash right across it. Shallow, what do you think that word means? I'll read it again. Take a look at the picture to help you think of the definition or what the word means. In summer, it is shallow and we can splash right across it. Yeah, shallow means the water is really low and they can walk right into the water. It doesn't go much past their feet. Except for this pencil. It is red outside and red inside. It comes out like a red ribbon. Oh, its color comes out like a red ribbon. When you sharpen it, the point gets small and fine and the pencil gets shorter. Someday it will be all used up and it will disappear. It is what I like most in the world. <laughs> Except for fries. When I smell them cooking, I get to the table before they do. I like them best when they're almost too hot. I dip every fry in the middle of my egg. When the egg is finished, I dip my fries in ketchup. Soon my plate is empty. Fries are what I like most in the world. Wow, she added so much detail when she was talking about those fries. I could almost taste them. Oh, except for this book. It has a story about someone quite like me. I know it by heart, but I still want to hear it again. I can say it in my head and see the pictures. It is a funny book. It is interesting. Maybe I won't want to read it every day when I am bigger, but for now, it is what I like most in the world. Except for this Teddy. When I got him, he was the same size as me. Look at it when she was a little baby. Now I am bigger than him. He comes everywhere with me. He sleeps with me. He is a good friend and I will always have him. He is what I like most in the world. Look at, that's her now with her teddy. She's much bigger now, I think. Except for you. You have been here since before I was born. Who's she talking to right now? Yeah, her mom. Except for you. You have been here since before I was born. You look after me. Mostly, we have good times, even when we are upset with each other. We belong together. And even though you change and I change, you are what I like the very, very most in the world. The end. Oh, wow. Now the tree is orange. Before at the beginning, it was just blossoming with the pink flowers. That was such a sweet story. I loved how that little girl used so many details when she was telling us her favorite things in the world, the things that she liked the most. Let's work on using a lot of detail to retell a certain part of this story. Here, I'm gonna flip to the page right now. We're gonna work on retelling this part of the story. Do you remember what she was talking about here? It was on two of the pages. Yeah, she was talking about her river being the thing that she likes most in the world. I wanna retell this part of the story right here. Remember friends, when we're retelling a story, we wanna be talking about the characters, the setting, and what's going on. 
Now, who are the characters in this part of the story? Yeah, there's the little girl. And who else? Yeah, her friends. Do you see any other characters? There's some ducks right there and a swan. Okay, so characters. The setting, where are they? Yeah, they're in the river, but where? Oh yeah, they are on a rock. So, so far we know that we're talking about the little girl and her friends on a big rock in the middle of the river. Oh yeah, and there's ducks floating around. What are they doing? Let's take a look. Maybe they're singing, look it. She, what is she doing? Yeah, she's walking across the log. Oh yeah, and they're sitting with their dog friend. Okay, now we just talked about the details that you'd wanna share in a retail. The characters, the setting, and what's going on. I want you to put all of those details together and retell this part of the story to me. Pretend that I have no idea what is happening. So use those details so I know what we what you're what you are telling me about. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, that must be a beautiful river. Awesome job, guys. Remember, when you're retelling your favorite part of one of the books we've read this week, make sure you're including lots of detail in your picture and lots of detail in your explanation. Remember, characters, setting, and what's going on. I'll see you in the next video, my friends. And until then, keep on reading. Bye, guys.